Okay. Just find the curtain. Okay, let me take a look quickly. Just heads just out there, hurting slightly in the corner. Heavy ones. But they're quite feisty, even at this age. And even at this age, they are deadly. You're holding him down. Uh, he won't be able to get out. Okay. You can come and take a look. You won't be able to get out. Just don't put your hand in there. No, trust me, I've seen it. <laughs> look at the beautiful patterning that it has, eh? Oh, this is a cobra! <laughs> See, he's trying to hide. Mm. Hey guys, Willem from Blauberg Snake Rescue here. I've got a little juvenile Cape Cobra that I just removed from a house in uh, Big Bay. And you can see him down there. He's got the beautiful juvenile coloring with those dots down the body. Um, with Cape Cobras, coloring isn't always indicative of species. They're one of the most color variant species that we have in the country. Um, but when you look at things like the fact that it makes a hood, the area that it was found in, um, and the general behavior of the snake, also, if he does flatten his hood now, you'll see he's got these big cheeks next to his head. That tells you it's a Cape Cobra. Um, and these guys are venomous. And even when they're this small or smaller, they're deadly. Um, if a snake has venomous parents, uh, the babies are just as venomous the moment they get out of the eggs or the moment they're born. Okay, so I've taken a couple of photos. You can see he's a little bit agitated. He's been around dogs. Um, he's a bit too small for me to take out with a hook stick, so I'm just going to tip him out of the bucket now. And... You'll see, like all snakes, he doesn't want anything to do with the humans. He's just going to go on his way the moment he sees there's a spot to hide. Thanks, guys. Stay safe.